Last but not least, I'm going to dip into just a little brown. Touch the greens on your palette. Come in under the tree, bring in just a smidgen of grass here and there just to bring a little green into the foreground. You don't have to, but because it, this is, before I'm doing this, it was reading as like dead grass, but you can bring all these greens back in. Like grass growing behind the rocks in front of the tree. Jump around so it looks natural. Just kind of here and there. It really fades as it goes back. Final thing, always sign your name. Make sure it's not overpowering. Put mine. I usually use a natural earth tone color that blends in with the painting so it's not so distracting. I'm the third, so I always put the third. My dad was a great artist and musician, so I carry on his legacy. And you might want to date it. I usually put the month and the year. Always stay away from the edge, at least a quarter inch or more from the edge with anything you're wanting to be seen within the painting, because if you choose to frame this, usually a quarter inch of your canvas gets covered by a frame. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. And that concludes our beginner's class. And stay tuned for future paintings to come.